Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a very laid back, chill ARP that kind of just swims and moves around through the stereo field. So with that being said, let's go to a default preset and then let's kind of listen to what we have. <laughs> a very inspiring sound wave. Okay, so let's turn the ARP on here and let's slow this bad boy down to maybe one over four. And for the mode, let's go down to random and then maybe two octaves. We can maybe come back to this a little bit later. So this is the kind of vibe that we're going to be getting. Now let's spice this bad boy up. Let's change our envelopes a little bit here. Okay, so we have a decent sound going on so far. Now let's go to the advanced section here and go to the effects. And the first one, tape echo, is fine, but let's change the sync to a dotted and let's go to an eighth note. And maybe increase the stereo spread. And what's better than one delay is you guessed it, two delays. So let's go for the regular delay for this one. And then maybe for the time, let's go ahead and sync this and maybe one over two might be interesting. And for the next effect, we're kind of going off that stereo vibe thing. So let's go to the stereo pan and one over two by default is fine, but we might need to bring this down. So let's check this out here. Okay, that's pretty cool. What we can do also to make this a little bit more expressive on the keyboard tab on the velocity, let's go ahead for destination one and let's navigate to the filters channel one and let's go to the low pass cutoff here and give it a little bit of depth. So see how that is with the backing track here. And to make things a little bit more interesting here, let's go to our modulations and for our first function, let's just kind of dra drag, or not drag, but like drop these nodes kind of around here somewhere in just kind of a random spot here, but make sure they're on the grid and they're kind of on time and kind of just something random, kind of something like this maybe. So it kind of just moves around. And what we're gonna do with this, we're also gonna put the destination here on the same spot on the low pass frequency cutoff and then give this a little bit of depth here. So it's kind of just moving it around the whole time. And maybe we can LFO this here. And since I told you we're gonna come back to this later here, let's see what it sounds like maybe with three octaves. That might be kind of interesting as well. Get a little bit more notes in there.
And here on our modulation section on the left hand side for our mod wheel, let's kind of see what we can do with this here. Yeah, so just a little bit of the panning, some of the VCA here. I don't really like doing this on the VCF for this patch because we're already doing a lot of stuff with the filter. But uh, the detuning could be kind of interesting. This wheel is kind of cool because you can really just play one chord and kind of just feel the track and use the modulation wheel and kind of just play something a little bit expressive. What's nice about this patch is you really don't have to play that much crazy stuff. Just holding down one chord like this. And kind of just moving them around to maybe another chord, maybe a couple, just a different note. So it's very easy to play. It's very laid back and it kind of works with almost anything that you're playing. So if you want to get the chillest ARP you've ever heard, there is a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.